Hello and welcome to Don't Open Your Eyes. This is a visual novel. It's a horror category. I never play horror games. So I am not sure what is going to happen in this. Let's... Turn the sound down a little bit. There we go. Because this might be freaky, and I'm not sure I want freaky going on. Oh gosh. It's getting late. My eyelids have begun to feel heavy. Yeah, it happens. I better go to sleep. Oh gosh, it's dark. I leave aside the book I've been reading and look out my window. The process of falling asleep is always a struggle against noise. Barking dogs, police sirens, even my own intrusive thoughts. But not even the turning gears in my brain are producing much sound. Tonight is just oddly quiet. Too quiet. Oh boy. I feel restless. My sight veers towards the hallway outside my door. The distance between my room and the opposite wall is only ten steps long. I know since I made a habit of counting them whenever I go out. One, two, three, absent mindedly, but always. I don't know why. Maybe I just like being aware of my surroundings to the smallest details. But tonight it's different. The hallway looks like it stretches into nothingness. Like the throat of a gargantuan beast. Logical thinking cries that it's just my imagination. There can't be anything wrong or different about it. It's just a hallway. But, dude, you have lights. Turn them on. I don't want to look at it. So I take a deep breath and close my eyes. In my room. Oh. There's a bed. In my room. There's a wardrobe. In my room. There's pictures framed on the wall. My room is a part of myself. Okay, yeah, true. I could see it. You, uh, you close your eyes. You're in the dark. You can, you can tell what where your, you know, where things are in your room. You can navigate around the dark because you know it so well. Okay. It's a world I know like the back of my hand. Were someone to blindfold me and ask to find my way around, I'd do so without the slightest difficulty. As long as nothing changes, having my eyes closed makes no difference. No. Nope. In this room, I can always find what I want to find. Because in this room, I know how everything looks. I need to wake up early tomorrow. I should really try to sleep. I hear footsteps. It's footsteps. What's that sound? Are those footsteps? <laughs> you better believe they are. Oh. No, that's impossible. It must be my imagination. Dude, you're going to get killed. Oh, boy. But it gets, it's getting closer. And closer. And closer. And closer. All right, we get it. It's closer. They are gone. Yeah, until your door opens and they... Right. There's no way someone can be there. Oh, crap. No. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Do I open my eyes? Sure! 
There's nothing there. No, there was something there. I saw it. Oh, gosh. Okay. That was creepy. Okay. That's the end. Well, there you go. Don't open your eyes because there's like an alien or something there. That wasn't creepy at all. Okay, so I came back to this spot. We're going to see what happens if we don't open our eyes. I don't open my eyes. Oh, uh, no. Look at me. No, no, no. I do my best to ignore the voice. Because I don't want to. No. Yes. Yeah. I can feel someone breathing over my ear. It's cold. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I don't know the color of my skin. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm fit yet. You're not. That is why I need you. To open your eyes. So you can tell me how I look. But you also shine. You are my eyes of hope. You love me anyway. And soon. I feel something caress my ear. Move my fingers around them. Oh dear. I do. Oh. Scream. You're gonna tear my ears off? I hear your voice. Maybe. It was a joke. <laughs> I'm joking. Mm. They look empty. Mm-hmm. And maybe so. Whoa. Well, like, dude, you got some like stuff going on in your eyes here. The eyes are my go to soul. That's what someone told me long ago. They said that the soul was always bright and beautiful. Every person has one. Well, there is a comforting thought. I felt it sometimes crawl up through my veins. That's why I've never seen the soul before. Because I'm empty. And isn't that something to be grateful for? Because if I were to look, there would be nothing there. But surely I would feel disappointed. Since I'm not looking, I can ease myself of that pain. So maybe this is for the best. No. Have you ever felt so empty? So devoid of what makes everyone special that you've embraced the void as your own? Many times. Have you? Yeah. I remain silent. Oh, come on.
sure. I opened my eyes. There's nothing there. Oh dear. Oh, okay. Um, I wonder what happens if you hit no on that second. I don't want to. I think I'm done. Seriously now. Um, we'll catch you later. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye now.